Hello and welcome to another episode of Dreamweaver Website Building. I'm Seek97 and today I'll be showing you how to do basic text styling in Dreamweaver. So this is where you have some text and you can make some bits headers, some bits paragraphs, some bold, some italics, some underlined, and that's basically basic text styling which I'll be showing you this episode. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to create a HTML file within Dreamweaver. Now I'm just going to hold our information, so what we're going to do is go to File and New and then click Blank Page, HTML and None, we don't want any templates because later on in this series I'll be teaching you to make your own template from scratch None, and you can leave as that, I'm going to put it as HTML5 and then click Create and it creates our page and now what we want to do is we want to save this and we want to save this under Computer, Local Disk find our website, so there it is and then save this as index.html now the reason we call it index is because this will be the home page so when, our, when we upload this to our server, our web host it will detect this as its home page and put that when you put on the main web address of your website the next thing we're going to do is to format all our information we've got within Word and the reason I do this is because from copy and pasting from other programs in Dreamweaver like, the easy ways of getting heading ones and paragraphs and stuff is really awkward and really hard to do in some cases so it's really easy just to do it inside a process like Word so what we're going to do is going to open my info.docx file which I had in my local server folder and I see I've got some information here with no properly uh, like formatting but as you can see I've got some bold text here so I've done that by just highlighting it and clicking bold and the same with this bit here but I did italics instead and now what I want is to have website of what a heading one so we're going to highlight that and under home tab we're going to click heading one and we're going to do the same for the next headers that I want heading one so that's gameplay, tutorials, contact forms and links and now what I wanted to be heading two so subheading is this bit that says YouTube so I just click heading two and other links and now the rest of it should be under normal format so let's highlight those and click normal so this bit as well this bit and lastly this bit and now that's all our text formatted so we can copy and paste this into Dreamweaver without it messing up so now what we're going to do is copy and paste this into Dreamweaver. So we're going to go all, control C. So control A to select all and then control C to copy. And then come into here, open that index.html. And then on the design tab, anywhere on the page, just click and press control V to paste. And as you can see, it's successfully um, formatted. So with that being a H1, that being H1, those being H2, and then these being paragraphs. And if you look in the code, you can see this little tag saying H1 and P h1 mp and then h2 on here so we know that it's worked properly but there's one problem with these you can leave them as they are but I want them on separate paragraph lines but as you can see here it doesn't say have them on separate paragraph lines it separates them with this thing called br which is break space I believe but I don't want to break space which basically leaves it in the same paragraph but just drops on the second line I don't want that I want it on a separate line so what we're going to do inside code is delete this br and then after the first one I'm going to put bracket slash b and then for this one we're going to put bracket p so that means that if I go to design they've separated how I want them and I'm going to do the same thing for this so delete the brs put p here p here p here and then end them here so by putting curly bracket and slash and it automatically ends it and yes so they've gone to separate paragraph lines and now it's all formatted and that's basically all my text um, styled and to the way I want it now if you want to change the font of this so the f instead of this kind of Times New Roman look I want it to be my own font or a font that I want to change it to then what you do is go to properties and click page properties under appearance CSS we want to see what says page font and do a drop down menu and um, we can choose any of these I'm going to look at Verdana apply and uh, that looks alright but maybe look at Arial and I believe Arial to me looks better so I can apply that 
click OK. And now that's my page with the font of my choice. Thanks for watching another tutorial by me in this Dream with Web Sub Built in series. If you want to see the next tutorial, then be sure to wait till the end of this video where that screen bit appears and you can click next video, which should be up in a few days, hopefully. And if you did like this video, please like it. If you want to see updates of live updates of when my new dream of website burning or my Minecraft complete morning guide videos are up, subscribe to this channel and comment if you've got any more questions as I'll be quite frequent on comments and the comment area. And yeah, thanks for watching.